Heartland Thai and Amy are among the top 7 Heartland couples ranked. It's challenging to select the top Heartland couples from the group. When we look at them, we may look for similarities with ourselves or if we are sick of our own happy relationship, we may look for a genuine romance. In either case, the Heartland couples are what keep us watching the show for the most part. They all have different histories, encounters and interpersonal dynamics, but they all have something to teach us. We will look more closely at the romantic relationship of the top 7 Heartland couples in this post. Emmy and Ty After Ty and Emmy spent the weekend together in season 2, they professed their feeling for one another and began dating. They succeeded, in our opinion, in becoming one of the top Heartland couples. Ty was Emmy's biggest supporter after all, and the two of them experienced a lot. In addition to the exterior challenges life dealt them, they also experienced internal issues in their relationship. For instance, when they adopted Marlene, the files Scott discovered and brought to Heartland, they began to quarrel over their various methods. Nonetheless, Ty and Amy persisted in their ardent love for one another despite all the circumstances until his untimely death. Jack and Lisa Remember when Lisa invited Jack to look at a horse he wanted to buy and then they went on a picnic? This is one of the cutest couple from Heartland. The couple's relationship was occasionally tested by Lisa's active lifestyle, but overall they were content. Sadly, they split up in season 6 after Jack paid Lisa a visit to France. Nevertheless, Lisa returned to Heartland after a lengthy absence, and at the conclusion of season 7, they got married even though they had already made the decision to live apart. In season 11, Lisa struggled to keep Fearfield afloat and all of her employees employed who she concealed from Jack. He happily agreed when she eventually made her problems known and asked to leave with him at Heartland. Tim and Jessica It's impossible to forget Tim and Jessica when discussing Heartland couples. When Jessica returned from her trip to New York in season 15, Tim and Jessica were concerned about her health. Yet, since Jessica's cancer didn't come back, there was no need for concern. Yet, it was good to see Tim standing by Jessica throughout this. Our favorite part of the season was when the pair eventually got married in season 15, episode 6, after all their issues. Despite Jessica's initial rejections of party, she later realized that small family wedding wouldn't be all that bad. So, surrounded by their loved ones, the happy couple made their way down the aisle. Tim and Marion before Marion, Jack's daughter sadly perished in an accident in season 1, episode 1. Tim was married to Marion. Tim got into trouble when bulldogging and needed medication to get better. Jack consequently expelled Tim from the household. He spent the subsequent 10 years away from his family and immersed her himself in booze. He started working on Big River, a nearby ranch to Heartland after Marion passed away and later acquired it. After losing his wife, Tim lived alone until he met Jessica. Tim eventually finding someone who loved him deeply was excellent for him because we had always assumed he would end up alone. He also made amends with the Bartlett's. Peter and Lou Sadly, Lou and Peter's marriage began to experience issues in season 8. As much as they attempted to make things right, in season 10 they officially divorced. Regardless of what occurred, Peter was always there for Lou and the girls. We must admit that Lou and Peter were the heartland pair who sat at our hearts the most. Second, only to Ty and Amy. We have always longed for them to reconcile because of this. Fortunately, they made up in season 15 just before Lou intended to wed Mitch. Lou and Mitch Many viewers believed Mitch and Lou would get together like Amy and Ty when he originally debuted on Heartland as a fresh trans hand. In the 10th season of Heartland, soon after Lou and Peter's divorce papers were filed, they started dating. The couple went through ups and downs over the course of the show, but many fans thought they would get together when they acquired a property together in season 13. They even got engaged in season 14, but they split up again at the conclusion of the year. Lou and Scott Lou and Scott had a romantic relationship in Heartland's first season, and everyone enjoyed them together. But when Scott turned down Lou's marriage proposal in season 2, their friendship began to deteriorate. Scott later realized his error in rejecting the offer, but it was too late for them. They shared an intimate experience in season 11, episode 13, but they decided to stay friends. Among the couples from Heartland, they are presumably the least content.